Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. We're going to do a little Wi-Fi stuff today. And this is pretty cool because there's a um, site, uh, Ubiquity Networks, ubnt.com, and they have a design center uh, web app, just lack of a better word. And that's what I have up on the screen here. So I'm just walk you through real quick because I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because every, one, every site plan you do is going to be different, obviously. So the basics... So when you edit, you can edit a, an actual plan by changing the image if you'd like, if you've already uploaded one. But if you go to the pull down menu and you go to the upload button, you can see that it'll take a PNG, JPEG, or a PDF, which is kind of cool. You can also draw draw one from scratch, excuse me. Uh, that's kind of neat if you just want to draw a quick box of the area or you've scribbled one down and you just want to trace it out. You can even just draw it on a piece of paper, scan it, or take a photo of it and just upload that as well. So once it's uploaded, you can draw your walls. Right? And the walls can be concrete, drywall, or glass, and that's going to represent uh, signal loss, right? So different materials are slightly different. Just pay attention here if you want to draw a single wall or if you want to draw a room. So a room is obviously going to be a box, and a wall is going to be just a single line. So down here, when we just have these little walls, right? They're literally walls. But if I wanted to do a, a box around a stairwell, an elevator, it's just a little quicker and easier to just draw that out. It'll also scale. Um, everything appropriately and you can calibrate your map so if you know a doorway is six feet you can calibrate the doorway to the map and then everything else you do uh, will be accurate as far as measurements go so that takes care of the wall bit now if you want to add an access point literally just place a device and you have two options it gives you a wizard and it tries to recommend what you want or you can go to all devices and select from their library of everything from switches and routers to wireless access points cameras everything they happen to sell in this case, I got an access point over here, and you can see down here it's all white, which means no signal, right? That's a very weak signal, for lack of a better term. So if I just take this guy and just drag him down here, you can see how it changes as I move it around, right? So it gives you a kind of a representation of how that signal will propagate in the area. Mind you, anybody who does this uh, for a living or done this before, these are far from 100% accurate, but it really does give you a good idea of where to put stuff and how well it would work. So for example, if I had it down here on the bottom, based on the walls, you can see this is all dead area. Uh, now, if that area doesn't have anybody there and it's like a maintenance room or a stairwell or something like that, who cares? But if you do have people sitting in that area, you're probably gonna wanna play with this, find a good spot uh, and say, oh, well, majority of the area is green, stairwell's not, who cares? It's a stairwell anyways. Uh, and you can play with your coverage that way. Always keep in mind the rules of channel planning for 2.4 gig and 5 gig and now 6, of course. And based on those variables, you should have a pretty good idea of where you want to put stuff. After you've installed the equipment, then you basically walk around. You do a site survey with your access points turned on. Verify the signal strength. If you can, verify throughput, verify latency that kind of stuff using as simple tools like iPerf or iPerf3 or iPerf2 or whatever you want to use. And that way you can validate that, yeah, I get a negative 60 and that equals 150 megabits per second down and 100 megabits per second up. And latency is only five milliseconds or whatever it happens to be. So that's it. I'll put the uh, URL in the actual write-up and it's uh, ubiquity.com and it's design.ui.com and it's absolutely free, by the way, folks. So it doesn't cost anything to give it a try. Have a good day. Bye for now.